I got my coconut oil and my beeswax together. You see these little chunks are the beeswax, these bigger chunks of the coconut oil. I'm doing it on a low heat. My assistant is playing with stuff. I got my breast milk there, already weighed out and ready to be dumped down. I got my vitamin E oil and my lavender oil that the dogs decided to help me on package last night. So all the coconut oil has melted. Now we're just waiting on the rest of the beeswax. Coconut oil does have a very low melting point. Beeswax has a little bit higher of one. I will be back once it is all nicely melted. The beeswax is just melted. Just added my breast milk. And I am mixing until it starts to thicken. I will be back once it is thickened. Now because this recipe does not use lye to help it cure, it is going to need to be kept in the fridge. And it can stay in the fridge for up to three months. And you pretty much can use it the moment it goes into the jar once it starts to set. And it looks like we are plenty thick now. off the heat. Looking good. Five. I added extra of the vitamin E because who doesn't want a little extra? Now we do one, two, three, four, five. I like to use lavender oil because it is calming. It's a more calming oil. Mmm, smells amazing. Don't mind the noise, it's just my little assistant playing. I am going to be pausing again so I can put it in the containers. All right, now I have two containers. This little guy I will start using first. It's already starting to set. And this big one is going to be the main supplier for the little jar. I'll post pictures of how they look after they're done setting. <laughs> 